Good morning. Well, it's morning here, <clears throat> here at Ravencroft Garden. This is Eagle Song, and today I'm standing out in our butternut squash patch. Well, I've been kind of hankering to try the, the growing tips of the butternut squash, or any of the squashes, really. You could do this with zucchinis, or any of the winter squashes, any of the summer squashes. But the, the time of year, it's August 18th right now, and the reason I'm doing this today is not only to enjoy the tips as a delicious addition to a soup, which we'll be making later, but it's also to, to cut back the growing tips so that any fruit, and you can see one right here, there is a small butternut squash that hasn't opened its flower yet. Where over here, there's a butternut squash where the flower's been pollinated. And then this other butternut female flower right here, you can see the nut squash right here. And inside we see that's a female flower. The squash itself is, of course, the um, holder for the seeds, the ovary of the plant. And so here is a male butternut squash flower. Now, people want to know how do you tell a male from a female? Well, see here, there's no ovary. There's no squash form here. And the male flowers are often used as uh, for stuffing, stuffing with, we love putting chev cheese in them. because We make that with our goat milk here. And so the, um, the squash, the flowers, the leaves, and the growing tips are all edible. So because I know there are a lot of squash forming in here, one reason I know that is I took a little trip inside the the um, patch this morning and found lots of squash in here that are getting ready. So, you know, we're just a family of two. So now is a good time to cut back the growing tips, harvest them for food, use some of the young leaves in our soup, use some of the male flowers, although it was hard to find male flowers today, and, and stop the growth of the vine so the female fruits have a chance to uh, mature and ripen. So I hope that answers some of your questions about male and female flowers on the squash species and that we can actually eat these squash plants way before the squash are ready and enjoy a multitude of dishes in our kitchens by using the same simple plant in many different ways. So come see us over at eaglesong-gardener.com. We'd be liking to see you there. And enjoy your garden. If you don't have one, find a friend with a garden. Find a community garden. There's a lot of ways to get your hands in the dirt. And one of them is over here at eaglesong-gardener.com. See you there.